It's on the print. This is actually a lot easier than it was in AutoCAD, especially when it comes to what AutoCAD used to call was the batch plotting. Revit just does that naturally. So let's talk about Revit plotting. I can either hit Control P on my keyboard or go to my Revit dropdown, go to Print, and then come up to Print. Now, I only have Adobe PDF available, but that's fine. If we're plotting to PDF, note that you can combine multiple selected view sheets into a single file right within Revit. Pretty cool. Of course, you can browse to where it's going to go, but let's pretend we're printing to an actual plotter. Now, print range can do a couple things. Current window basically means from AutoCAD, if you're plotting from model space, you're going to plot what's showing up. Now, visible portion of current window, if you zoom in on something, it's only going to plot that. It's kind of like plotting a window that you specify. Selected view sheets. Now, this is my favorite. Go ahead and click on selected views sheets. Now, click on the select button. What I'd like to do is uncheck views. And notice now that we can just print the sheets we want. Batch plotting all in one shot. Click OK. I generally don't save the settings, so I'm going to click no. If you want to, go ahead. That's completely up to you. You can have as many settings as you want. For example, SD sheets. You can just select those and save them. I'm going to say no for this. Reverse print order is usually a good idea. Now we get into our settings. So for default, let's click on the setup button here. And this is the meat. So for the paper, the size, I'm going to click the drop down. I'm going to go ANSI E, which I think is what our size is. Now we always want to center this. Now for zoom, always click zoom. This is called scale to fit. This is called you can't scale anything and it's bad. Zoom, let's go 100% of size. Now, if you want a half size, guess what? That's going to be 50% of size. So always zoom. Now, when you select that, for some reason, it wants to uncheck center. So go back to center. Now for options, click hide unreferenced view tags, which is really cool because if I put a section in my model, and I don't drag what that section is calling out onto a sheet, it's not going to plot it. Pretty cool. Region edges mask coincident lines. This is pretty good because if you have like a masking region and it's kind of half over a thick line, we want it to mask that line because that's the intention. I'm going to come right over here. Vector processing is usually what you want. If you do have a raster image in there, Revit's going to pop up a dialog, and it's going to switch it to raster anyway. So just click on vector processing. Now, raster quality, that has to do with this. So I just usually go high. Nine times out of ten, this doesn't affect anything unless this is checked. Colors, this is an important one. Black lines is what I like to do. Now, grayscale will grayscale everything. Revit wants to plot in color, so we need to tell it not to. This is a lot better than a CTB file, isn't it? So black lines just means that, okay, any overrides that I have, so if I have a shaded line, it's going to plot shaded. But if I select grayscale, it's just going to go to one kind of shaded color. It doesn't work. Color will plot it in color. So I like to go to black lines all the time. Now, I am going to save this one. So I'm going to click Save As. I'm going to call it Full Size. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to click OK here. Now we know in our settings, you don't even have to go in there. If you see full size, to be honest, when I see that, I go in there anyway because I don't trust anyone. But that's just me. So this is how we do it. I'm not going to click OK here. I'm just going to click Close. But you can go ahead and plot your stuff. And of course, if your plotter is different, you're going to have slightly different settings than me. But this is how you plot.